from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here, because here we take your life to the next level. We help you with your attitude, with finances, with your health, and with relationships. This is episode number 46 on Boaz Power TV. And the message this time is called, Cousin Otto was interested in cameras. Now, my father was originally from Austria, mother from Poland. I was born in Israel and we came to America when I was nine years old. And my father used to tell me stories about um, a relative of his in Vienna. Um, Ludwig was his name, and uh, my grandmother, my father's mother, and Ludwig's mother were related in some fashion. And so I can call him, I guess, a second cousin. Ludwig showed interest in cameras from a very early age. In fact, Dad used to tell me stories that Ludwig would find cameras, take them apart, and see how they worked. And isn't it amazing what happened later in life? But this particular story shows what happens when we focus on what we really want to do in life. One of the two books I recommend in my seminars all over the world is Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. This is an amazing book written in 1935. It has made more millionaires than any other book in history. Now, I'm not saying that money is the answer to everything, but listen, you can be miserable in a better part of town. Some people sort of think money is right up there next to oxygen. But anyhow, one thing he said in this book, Napoleon Hill said, was definiteness of purpose. Decide what it is you really want. What it is you really want. So if you've gotten yourself going in a career for many years, it's not something you really want. Why don't we focus even in your spare time on what you really want to do? What could happen? The next five or 10 years are gonna pass no matter what. So why not focus on what you really want out of life? What do you want? What are you passionate about? So Ludwig was uh, passionate about cameras and he was Jewish and he was the son of the Attorney General of Austria and so he worked in theater in Austria and um, uh, he went to the University of Vienna where he graduated in 1928 and then he uh, came to America in 1935 and worked on Broadway. He produced his first Broadway play which was called Libel and uh, then traveled to Hollywood at the invitation of Joseph Schenck, the chairman of the board of 20th Century Fox. And he began at that time to work as a producer and a director in movies, and eventually did a number of movies, including Stalag 17, and one movie I was particularly fond of that uh, Ludwig produced was Exodus. Exodus, the story of immigrants after World War II coming to Palestine and wanting to create a new nation. And I can still remember the opening theme. I, I, I get goosebumps when I hear the theme song to the movie Exodus. And so the story about Ludwig is the fact that he became very successful in his chosen field. He was passionate about cameras, about the movies, and he pursued it one step after another. What could you do? to pursue your passion. If you like gardening, then do more of that. You could start video reports like these on the internet about your gardening efforts and put them up on YouTube like I put my reports and someday somebody might offer you money to produce a book on gardening. You don't know that that couldn't happen. Today it is so much easier to pursue passion than it ever was before. You don't have to know people. You don't have to, connect, have, to have connections. You don't have to be wealthy. You can pursue your passion. Look at what I'm doing. I'm pursuing my passion, which is to connect with people all over the world. I'm doing these video reports in my studio, which, wait a minute, this is my dining room. Hello, I got a simple camera. I got a little microphone. I do these reports. I get uploaded to YouTube and people find me. You could do the same thing. So whatever you're passionate about, please pursue it. Pursue it. You never know where it could take you. Someday somebody might say, we want you to do a book about this. We want you to do a television show about it. You never know. Oh, by the way, Ludwig, for those of you who are old enough to know, he became known in Hollywood as Otto Preminger, the producer. Otto Preminger. 
So the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV is I pursue my passion. I pursue my passion. Put that on the bedstand and read it out loud. The first thing every morning, the last thing every night. Don't analyze it. Just say it. And before you know it, opportunities will come and you'll say, wait a minute, I could do this, I could do this. And then one day you're doing something amazing and I'm seeing it on YouTube and saying, yeah, that works. All right. So thank you for joining me. If you like these messages and a lot of people around the world find them to be very beneficial, please forward this to five of your friends and suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com and get them to subscribe to these free weekly television reports. I know we can help other people to also discover their passion. I'm passionate about your success as you are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness, and above all, you are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.